You guys hated us for putting a 4060 Ti inside of a Dell Optiflex, so now we're gonna put a 4060 inside of an HP. And this one kind of makes sense this time. Before we dive into doing that, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Antec and their Performance One case. The Antec Performance One is a full tower gaming PC case packed full of convenient features. For example, it comes with a temperature display to easily monitor hardware temps. It also has an extensive interior, allowing for support of RTX 40 series cards and other larger hardware. With its mesh front panel, support for 10 fans, and airflow enhancing design, you will experience top notch cooling performance. And if all of that wasn't enough, it comes with 10 sets of Velcro straps and two cable covers to completely organize and manage all your cables. For more information about the Antec Performance One, check out the link in the description down below. And big thanks again to Antec for sponsoring today's video. We're doing some naughty things again. Yeah, yeah. So the, the 4060 Ti one, I remember, was very like just out of the blue. We didn't know what to do with it. We just had it sitting there and we saw that everybody kind of hated it. So we're like, well, we don't want to just do a build with it because people are going to be upset. They're going to be like, why did you guys do this? So we put it in an Optiplex and Nvidia actually seemed to kind of like it. So, yeah, they didn't care yeah. too much about it because they sent the normal 4060 to us. This is an Asus dual model because the normal 4060 does not have a like reference style or like a founder's edition card. Yeah, so this one um, should be pretty standard on the power and everything. And this HP actually was not too bad. We actually bought this uh, for a recent video where it was about 350 bucks and it's from Skytech, you know, they're our friends at Skytech. And they basically included an RTX 2060 that's kind of like one of those no-name brand ones, but it seemed to be a real uh, 2060. So we're putting in a real, real 4060. And it's crazy to think this is two generations newer and we think it's gonna probably pull around the same amount of power. Let's see a size comparison real quick because I haven't actually Got it's a little it. thicker, but it should just it's use a, a single 8-pin connector, which is the same thing with this 2060. But the one concern is we are using SATA adapters still. Yes, yeah, so SATA adapters, so basically that's what they're doing right now. They have two SATA cables going to one 8-pin. So it looks like this one's just a little bit, actually, I think it's almost the exact same, maybe slightly longer, and it definitely is thicker. This one's going to be a little bit closer to that bottom that has no ventilation. But honestly, with how good the 4060 Ti did, I think with the new DLSS and just the the lack of power draw. I mean, this thing only has a 400 watt power supply, but I think this thing's gonna be barely pushing like maybe 250 watts when we check our watt meter. We will have that, so make sure you check out the benchmarks. And yeah, I mean, I'm excited because that, that TI did so good for our fourth gen i-series processor, but this one's actually sixth gen. Yeah, running sixth gen will make this a little bit more reasonable now by no means is this like really recommended. I mean, in <laughs> theory, if you wanted to do it, you could. Do we it. are already reaching bottlenecks with the 2060 with the i5. So going to a 4060, we're really just doing the same thing we did in the last video. We're uh, taking advantage of DLSS frame generation, which is available on 40 series. To see if games like Cyberpunk, Spider-Man, those newer AAA titles will run better at 1080p or even higher resolutions because of the technologies baked into these new cards. Yeah. Yeah, and that's really the main reason why people kind of hate these cards is like, you know, the 4060 Ti and the 4060, those were two kind of weird generational jumps where they didn't really get a whole lot better hardware base. They're not much better than the card that they successed. They kind of just added a bunch of new software that supposedly is worth paying for. It's so hard to open. You can't even open it. You can't even get rid of this 2060 oh, if you wanted there's, to. there's two. Ah, ah. ah. You can do the loop-de-loop -loop and pull. Yeah, that was that was a little scary. Definitely plenty of ventilation on the bottom. Yeah, installation, real simple too. I mean, that's one of the nice parts about these is you just plop it in. But I just have 32 gigs. We do have an SSD. We do have a three, three terabyte hard drive <laughs> from 2012, a 400 watt power supply, and an i5-6500, which is just a four core, four thread. And honestly, not much better than even the second, third, or fourth Gen i5. So yeah, if you were to, let's say, buy this and then get rid of the 2060, let's say you sold the 2060 for, I don't know, what, like 120 bucks, yeah, 130 100, bucks? 130, yeah. Yeah, 130 bucks on eBay. You get rid of that $360 price you paid, so we're down to like 230, throw in a $300 graphics card. So we're up to like $530 for this build right now. Is it good for 530? I don't know. It's freaky. It, it is freaky, but we're gonna go and test it in some games that do support DLSS three frame generation so we can see how it performs. And also just some normal esports titles to compare it to the 2060. We'll play Apex Legends like we did with the normal 2060 and just see, is this upgrade actually worth it or is there a crazy bottleneck? Let's test it. All right, guys, we're playing Apex Legends and we are at the same settings before, 1080p. We don't really have much of anything besides NVIDIA Reflex and then uh, medium settings. And before we were getting like, 
think around 100 FPS. Yeah, it was around 100. It was the, um, what was the other game the, mode? The larger game Yeah, mode. the larger game mode. So that could be Conquest it, but or whatever. yeah, but we'll go back and forth between the uh, gameplay so you all can see the differences, but uh, it's performing pretty good. And of course, everyone's probably wondering, what is the wattage like? Right now, we're looking at about 190 watts. Wow, less than we thought so far. Yes, as you can tell, the 460 is only pulling about 80 to 90. One thing that's, that's weird that I'm noticing is that um, it almost seems like, like the i5 is at 100 a little bit less than before. So yeah. maybe the GPU is kind of kind of carrying a little bit more. Yeah, obviously you could run like 1440p high resolution and really uh, push the uh, 4060 more than the i5, which might be tests we'll do with like Cyberpunk. We'll just show you guys what like 1080p versus 1440p would be like, but um, it, it's running pretty smooth so this far. Is, yeah, I mean, we're definitely getting, uh, we'll have to check to make sure. And obviously since it's not the same map, it's hard to be totally precise, but it seems like we're getting, you know, almost 100 more FPS at times. I'm gonna die. You're gonna die. I'm here. One thing you could do is if you have one of these towers and maybe like a six gen i7, you have four cores and eight threads, you might even have a better experience because you'd be less CP bottlenecked. Yes, you would still be bottlenecked. Oh God. Uh, <laughs> yes, you would still be bottlenecked because you are running gen three and also an older CPU, but it would be a little bit less. So in theory, if you were to go out of your way to do a 4060 in one of these older towers, definitely at least have an i7 so you limit the bottlenecking a little bit. Oh, oh. Yeah, rat yeah, attack. Buddy. I'm getting too darn old and too darn slow. Yes! My easy. mouse went off the pad for a second and I was like, oh no. Easy engineer. Yes. Coming after you with my yes. P20. You're just bullying this one person. But you're pissing me off over here. I can't. Oh, oh I guess he's. God. Oh. All right. Well, wow, that was perfect timing too. You all is. took the L. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is a game that obviously, it seems like it ran faster, but you at home will be able to tell when we go back and forth between the gameplay. But what we're gonna go ahead and do is do some Cyberpunk because that has um, DLSS 3 frame generation and we'll see if we can play a 1080p, 1440p or 4K like last time when we broke it. <laughs> all right, guys, we are now in Cyberpunk and right now we are running 1080p and we're not running any upscaling or anything. We're running just high settings right now. Surprisingly, it's not that bad. It's, it's not that bad. We're getting like 60, I would say, yeah, 60 FPS, boost a bit higher here and there. Oh, it's, God. Really, it's really the latency that's yeah. like just not good. Yeah, this is not, oh God, it's getting worse. <laughs> I'm getting shot at by people. What did you do? I don't know what I did. <laughs> he just spawned in. I just spawned in. Don't shoot me. Leave me alone. Can I steal this? He's doing a speed running simulator. I can. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, there it is. Oh! Oh, yeah. Now, as I can tell, the performance is... Oh, God, I'm <laughs> stuck. I can't even finish my thoughts without getting stuck. Um, the performance isn't significantly better versus the 4060 Ti with the 4th uh, gen i5 because from like second gen all the way up to like sixth gen, there was improvements with the CPUs, but it wasn't dramatic. Um, but this is this is pretty good for no like upscaling or anything. 1080p high settings, getting close to 60 at times, but it really just depends on what spot of the world we're in. Um, this is this is pretty much like the example of why people don't generally love the cards, like the 4060 and 4060 yeah. Ti, we're just using their hardware right now, which is almost like a 3060 or yeah. a 3060 Ti for a little bit more money. And that's why we're gonna show you guys the difference of this versus adding that DLSS to see, will it give us a lot more FPS or he just phased through a wall? I did. So let's go ahead and enable DLSS frame generation, which by the way, you have to turn on GPU hardware scheduling in Windows to make that work. Um, just, just know that if you happen to do this at home. Um, but we're gonna go to quality on frame generation, leave everything else on high and see if there's a difference. Okay, I mean, so far we'll go we'll go driving this way. That's gonna be the real test. At that okay. point, like already it feels smoother. It's, it's a lot smoother. The FPS numbers are not significantly higher. Yeah, it was just bouncing around so much before in the latency. We still, okay, we still, I just saw one second there, it went to like 23 milliseconds. Yeah, so but still, it's staying lower generally. It's definitely staying lower. See if I can get back to that spot where it was like really demanding. Um, but you can definitely see some uh, blurriness and stuff going on. Um, we'll go to ultra performance for the fun of it here in a little bit. Um, but yeah, I bet the watts definitely drop. Oh, dropped. <laughs> 149. 149, yeah, because the GPU's just not being, how, this thing is durable. I'm personally not durable, but. <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're dying. Oh, but yeah, we're still getting 40 or so <laughs> FPS. <What? laughs> that that defies physics right there. 
Uh, so we get about 40 to 50 FPS in this one location, so not a major difference. We'll go ahead and while we're mid movement, go to, let's do ultra oh, performance. Ultra no major difference. Okay. This, ladies and gentlemen, it's called CPU bottle. We're using 120 watts now. Okay. God, so the game looks horrible. It looks though. rough. <laughs> like it looks, uh, it looks like Vaseline's like all over the screen. <laughs> oh, it looks like it's, it's boiling. Like, is it mineral oil? <laughs> like all over my screen. Not, not, not a great experience. But I wasn't expecting an amazing experience to be honest. We had the same thing with the 4060 Ti. It was just impressive to see back then a Fortune i5 even be able to do anything like this. Why? I turned the radio off. Stop it. Um, let's just it's do 4K, that time, guys. Let's it's do that 4K. time. This card definitely isn't good for 4K, but we're gonna do 4K. We're gonna see what happens. Yeah, it this card would only be, with brand new specs, you could maybe do like 4K Fortnite low settings and games like that, but yeah, you wouldn't buy a card like this to actually play 4K. All, all right, the time. we're gonna leave it at ultra performance. Let's just see what happens. Yeah, before it just locked up and died, and it's running better than it. Well, remember when did. this happened last time? Remember <laughs> when we like played and it was running better? It actually looks good. Like, it looks good, and it's getting 70 to 80 FPS. And the milliseconds are like not hitting like 30. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. DLSS, I mean, I know people are not happy about the pricing of the physical hardware, but the technology of DLSS and FSR, all that stuff has made it where you can play these games comfortably um, and have no real problems here and do weird stuff like this, which again, I do have to preface because a lot of people are gonna be like, why the heck did you do this? We don't necessarily recommend doing this. It's more of an experiment than anything. Mm -hmm. um, we really don't even necessarily recommend going out of your way to get one of these cards. There's better options. But if you do have this card, and you can experiment like this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, it's it's also, it's just, it's almost promising to see like, maybe, you know, as an NVIDIA and AMD kind of uh, pr progress as companies and get, yes. get along more. And uh, we start to kind of allow PCs to get cheaper like consoles, um, but still have this really good performance. Cause this, this is exactly how consoles do it. Yes, I mean, exactly. this is, it's upscaling and technologies. If we could get more of this stuff on the PC, uh, then yeah, we could be doing stuff like this $500 PC all the time. 4K gaming <laughs> performs better than 1080p. There you go, it's ladies obvious, and gentlemen. Guys. It's uh, obvious, It's what you should have been doing from the beginning. But yeah, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we'll run one more game, Spider- Oh, crime, uh, crime. Uh, uh, we'll run Spider-Man during the outro of this just so, so you guys can see uh, one more game that supports frame generation and just show you guys the difference. But hey, Frame generation plus running 4K in a really weird system like this does some crazy things, just like Cyberpunk. Crazy, crazy, <laughs> crazy game. Crazy activities. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Well, as you guys can see from our benchmarking, we did get a performance increase over our RTX 2060, but do we recommend this? No, not by any means, but was it a fun little experiment, especially to play Cyberpunk at 4K and find that it's better than 1080? Heck yeah, it was. Yeah, it was really strange to see that happen, but with DLSS and the combination of trying to reduce that CPU bottleneck and putting the load on the RTX 4060 made for very weird numbers you normally wouldn't see. So if you like this kind of experiment, let us know in the comment section down below. If you wanna shop around for one of these PCs on Amazon or an RTX 4060, just don't put them together. Check the links in the description down below. They will be the fill links and they will help us out. But yeah, let us know what you think of experiment videos like this. And if you have any other ones you want to see us try here on the channel, but if you tell us to put a 4090 in one of these, <laughs> we ain't doing it. That's not even our thing. Not yet. <laughs> so as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye. Exactly. Now over at PCBros.Tech, we won't hook you up with a combination like this. Don't worry, we'll pick this 4060 out and put it in a build that makes sense, and then this office PC will be great for someone else. PCBros.Tech, gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and so much more. Use code TOSIBROS2 on checkout. You'll save 2% of your next purchase. Mm -hmm. Buy a mouse pad today and have a better life for doing so. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out.